What's up, everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of the Chromecast. This yet, one, yet another. This oh, one, <laughs> we made it again. No, we did. We weren't it. sure there was going to be another. We one, did. We did. We God, we traveled long and far to be able to create. Yes this episode yeah and that's the truth yes it was it was a journey if you are a regular listener of the chromecast podcast you know that we normally put out these episodes on saturday sometimes friday, friday. usually friday sometimes, sometimes sunday saturday. yeah sometimes monday hey look sometimes life happens look, look we we are a small team of independent folks People. doing this <laughs> like <laughs> sometimes things happen and we're uh Just we're publishing late yep. all right it is what it is but this one we held off for today because uh, this is when you're listening to this, the embargo has now lifted yep. for the news that we cannot wait to talk about. We're actually talking about it's for us. It's Thursday. Yeah. Um, so it's not it's not yet available. It's like nope. We got to switch into the mode of it's it is Monday. We you are hearing available. it now. We can say ever all the everything we right. want to say, which is so exciting because I don't know that we talked about trying to do another episode today of just some news roundup stuff like we would normally do yeah. but i was like how are we gonna do that dude yeah and not talk about what just happened yeah we were and what just happened is like colossal it is yeah, it is it is the biggest change for chromebooks i think yeah I ever mean, and according to you know the leadership chrome os leadership it is it's it is the biggest like overall shift mm. in the way that Chromebooks are presented. Um, the terms inflection point uh, were used, you know, like this is, this is a big movement. And so this isn't a, a thing where we're going to talk about it this week. And then maybe six months from now, you'll hear about Chromebook. Plus yeah. Well, again. we'll move on. We'll talk about something else for a little while and yeah. then come back to this. No, this is no, going to be is, ongoing. Yeah. This conversation. is going to be kind of in our face forever now. Like this is part of the Chrome OS Chromebook experience. Now. Yeah. Uh, and what we're talking about, yes, what we're, what we're talking. I'm going to throw the slide up. Over, is over Chromebook Plus. Boom. So we've talked Boom. about it as Chromebook Plus. We found there that it is quite a ways back. It's real, but yes, it is officially Chromebook Plus. And Melitus, John Melitus. Sorry, we are we always <laughs> refer to him as Melitus. Uh, John Melitus had actually said there's there's John Melitus and John Solomon. So we yeah. just Melitus, Melitus and Solomon. Solomon. Yeah, and so uh, Miletus had said, uh, even in the presentation, uh, that it was a press-only thing. Uh, we're going to talk about the event and all that stuff here in a second. But uh, it was a it was a press event, and at it, he said multiple times, it's not Chromebook X, it's Chrombook Plus. Like, Chromebook X was the internal uh, code name. Obviously, they code name stuff for a reason. They're, they're doing their best in an open-source world to try to kind of mask some of this stuff. And... And, you know, you know, and, and we you talked know. about it last week. Kyle had found some of the early stuff yeah, of CBX, like, and, and and it's out there. It's yeah. gonna happen. Like, it's hard to. Here, here's my it's hard to hide stuff. Criticism on these kind of things. Like, if you're gonna code name it, code name it like brick mortar. <laughs> Something that has nothing to do with anything. Like CBX is enough to be like CBCB Chromebook Chromebook X. What is a Chromebook X? You know, like. It's enough to it because I spend a lot of time looking through the repository, as I'm sure like Kyle over at Nine to Five does. There's certain things that your your eye sees and you're like, "Ooh, what's that?" You know, and I'm sure there are plenty of things I gloss over that are either codenamed or written in such a way that you're just like, I, "I that could be a thing," but I don't have time to spend to look to dig that deep into every single commit. I mean, there's literally thousands of them on a daily basis. So, uh, yeah, maybe next time, maybe not Chromebook X, maybe go with like, yeah, Fern, Fern. Just white shelf. <laughs> You're just naming things like, in the room. I'm looking around. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and seriously, like be yeah. that random with it. And we wouldn't have found it probably, right. but we did. Um, uh, Kyle found Chromebook X. Maybe I found once. that one little line that said Chromebook Plus, And I'm like, mm -hmm. that's exactly what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, we were wrong about the logo. We, we were. Did, we did a video. We were. Uh, I blame it on Joe. Joe it's said okay. it. It's I liked fault. the idea. He was wrong. It's my um, fault. I, I think we can, we, yeah, we can share this. Um, you're they talking, they worked through several yeah, iterations, obviously, and they showed them to people and all that stuff. So all the feedback they got, there was going to be. I think we said it on the the podcast last week yes. or last time, uh, and then in our. Um, uh, I may or may I may or may not have mocked it up just to see what it would look like. Yeah, we did that. We thought about putting it as the uh, featured image for the <laughs> Chromebook. Like we literally, I was sitting in the 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 uh, press thing. Uh, again, well, I, I don't. 
won't say too much about it, but we were sitting there getting ready for the event to start, publishing the video of yeah. the three eye, like maybe being a Chromebook Plus, like, and we didn't know no. for sure, no, uh, yet, but we knew, like, I, I. I, I was being conservative in the video. Like, I think probably it's going to be one. I'm like, it's 100% this almost, is going to be it. Almost certain. Now, yeah. they could have showed up with something very different than this. They could have. I just didn't feel like that was realistic. Right. Um, and so, it's not. Um, and so, yeah, um, the cool part is, like, all of these are going to be available at Best Buy. So, this thing will finally which be is, at Best Buy, which is awesome. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, get to the hardware. But yeah, it's a, it's Chromebook Plus. It's not just a Plus logo. Kind of we we thought maybe like any, it's a. Is there any branding in the release here? Um, we've got we've got several photos that will yeah, be included. Yeah, and again, remember we're doing. I'll maybe this, just put up a photo right here. We're doing this prior to. Um, wow, that's weird that they don't have a shot of the logo. Ooh, I love that. I know that so one was that was a cool so presentation. Um, out of curiosity. See what that brings up. Yeah. Um, Regardless, yeah, it says Chromebook, and then Plus written oh. out. So uh, we've got some slightly other stuff thicker. We're, we're right? afraid to. There we go. There we go. You can go ahead and show that slide right there. Oh, perfect. Yep. Slightly um, bolder uh, plus, plus on the very end. Right in line. They felt like that. They've worked gotten. Better. They've gotten rid of Chrome logo. Yeah, the Chrome logo goes away with this logo. Gosh. Um, I think it looks great, honestly. It looks really sleek on the device. And so you can imagine a device like this one, um, maybe right there. Yeah. So right, it would just be right there instead of that Chromebook logo. It would just, or was that a Chrome? Yeah, that one says Chromebook. That's Chromebook. Uh, just say Chromebook Plus there in, in all gray. Uh, it's super sleek looking. Uh, we have quite a bit of the hardware here. Uh, I think we were... At, at, when we're talking about this, we can't really get into the hardware just yet. Right. Uh, there are agreements. We can say that... goes in place. We have them. We can say the models. Can we but, say the models? Yes. Yeah. 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 The, we, we'll, we'll give you... We're going to get into it, but we'll give you a high level of view of... Oh, oh, are we not sharing that now? No, no. no. I'm, okay, on, I'm, on you. I'm on the wide angle Let here. Let me swap back here. Let me swap back. We got... We got some stuff. We, we yeah, got some just, stuff we're working through here. Yeah, we I'm getting be, a phone call. We're we got, be, we we got stuff we're not allowed to share. I know. It's All right. It's, I will call you back in a second. We're all thumbs. Um, okay. So, anywho. Yeah. Chromebook Plus is the name. Um, not Chromebook X. And, yeah, it's... Uh, it's For some people, I think. I think they could come across as, oh, you're rebranding. So, you're re- rebranding a, a segment of Chromebooks. And, to be fair... Uh, Somewhat, yeah, that's that's somewhat the case. So, perfect example: this Chromebook right here is technically available. Like that's that's kind of how we got it. You can go to Lenovo right now and buy it, um, and it won't be considered a Chromebook Plus. But in the weeks to come, it will. Mm-hmm. Like it'll get all the same Retro, stuff. Retrofitting all. Yeah. Of so, the- so they'll retrofit um, all of the. We'll, we'll get into that too, and I want to get into the, the, the specifics yet, um, but. It's not just a rebranding. Like slapping that on there isn't what they're talking about doing. It's not like, oh, that well, that fixes it. It's this idea that you're going to create a segment of Chromebooks, and we've talked about this already at length. You know, based on what we knew, like this has to be what, kind of what Google's aiming for. Um, it's it's creating a sub segment of. Or, it's almost going to be the majority of Chromebooks, to be mm-hmm. honest. It really is. Um, the, where these devices have this label. Um, this this clear branding on them where if a consumer goes in and wants to buy one, they know that they get all the best stuff that Chrome OS has to offer. Now, that doesn't mean manufacturers can't make devices that don't go along with these sure. guidelines. They can. They, There's going to be go regular Chromebook be. models still. But we were worried. You know, I think we talked about this last week or the week prior. Uh, what about the Dragonfly? Mm-hmm. You know, it's not mid-range because that's that was clearly one of the focus points, and that's that's what it is. I mean, uh, I'll spoil this part. Chromebook Plus models start at three ninety nine, so they knew like this is the mid like this is the meat of the market when it comes to consumers. This is where people want to be with Chromebook purchases. So they they aim to stay in that that realm with these first quote unquote you know, newer devices, and so. Um, they've they've done that. They've achieved that. But it doesn't mean that higher end Chromebooks aren't that. Uh, if that makes sense, like it doesn't mean that um, devices like 
Uh, by the time that you're watching this, we will have also... <laughs> we're like having to future cast way more than normal here. I don't so like it. So weird. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, we will have unboxed the uh, Acer Chromebook 714. Yeah. The, the Beast model. So mm-hmm. it's going to show up mid-October uh, at Best Buy. And it's the same 714, just you know, like on steroids. So it's got 16 gigs of RAM. I think, I think it's 512 storage. I think it brings the pen back, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe adds a fingerprint scanner to the mm-hmm. mix, Core i7, 16 gigs of RAM, like all, monster, all the stuff. a quad HD screen. <laughs> the, oh, yeah, the I'm screens. looking real forward to it. Screen's I'm not going to lie sexy. to you. Um, as much as I love, like I love, I just absolutely the value adore and this device. The, the, the value proposition for Chromebook Plus is amazing, but yeah. I also love high-end devices too. But it doesn't mean those devices won't be Chromebook Plus like certified. I guess is it. it's a criteria. It's a it's a, a spec requirement. It's a rubric. A rubric. You're like, no, it's really a testing thing. For us, it'd be a rubric. Yeah. Yeah. No, the Chromebook the, Plus. Rubric. The manufacturers are working through the Chromebook Plus rubric. rubric. I love that word. To, God, <laughs> to 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 make a device Chromebook Plus or not. Correct. Um. And yeah, it's like that. We were we. we we were a little weirded out or concerned that there would be the dragonflies of the world that weren't going to get this branding, but they're like the it's like the, the, the it's highest a way end. better Chromebook. I mean, no, I'm not taking anything away from this uh, slim three I that's sitting mm-hmm. in front of me. I do like I didn't take it to New York with us, and I, I thought got back. You were going to? I was, I was very I just, surprised. I just that you wanted didn't. the extra screen real estate from sure. the, the 516 GE, which will also end up getting uh, Chromebook Plus. I was concerned about it too. I. We got done with that meeting, and the first, as soon as I opened that Chromebook up, I checked its camera because I was like, "Oh God," because it's it's that specific. Like, if your Chromebook doesn't meet all of the criteria, it's not most all of the criteria. It's not going to get it. And so, um, this is Google's attempt to basically say, "Hey, look, we we're creating uh, a situation where there's no question if you buy a Chromebook with Chromebook Plus on it." that you're going to get this type of experience. like, And that's what they're mm-hmm. attempting to deliver, uh, which I think is, is very smart um, and very important at this point in the whole Chromebook story. Because here's the thing. like, You can go watch our hands-on with this uh, Slim 3i. It's not really... No, it's not the best at anything. I don't it's think. not extraordinary in any category. <laughs> No, the screen, not, the, the, not the best. It, the screen's fan. Screen's great. There's a lot of great things about screen's it. Really there's great. nothing where you could say this is the best blah, blah, blah Chromebook. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think it does anything, quote unquote, the For best. For the price, it's maybe the best. It could it could win some of those things if you For talk the about price. MSRP. But this, it's but talking, 499 MSRP, so it's not like yeah. dirt cheap or anything. It's been on sale. It is for about 420 nice. $425. Uh, and once it hits Best Buy, just wait, baby. This thing it's gets down be, to under four hundred dollars. Gonna be I'm nice. Like, Buy this Chromebook, but yeah. uh, but it's still you know like it, again, it's not superlative in any particular thing, but all of it comes together to make this experience, and I think that's what Chromebook Plus is attempting to do. So it's attempting to coerce OEMs into making better experiences overall. And if you set some criteria for Google to say you don't get the badge unless you have this, mm-hmm. um, and then that now we've started a, a situation now where it's like. Here are the requirements for now, but next year, those requirements could get a little bit more specific sure. and a little bit more specific to where we've talked about this with Chromebook Plus. It would give Google the ability to really start talking about things like screen brightness, start talking about things like deflection, which is the, the amount a chassis bends. Like this Chromebook's all plastic. Well, it's not. The lid's, yeah, the lid's aluminum. Uh, but the entire bottom is plastic, but there's zero deflection on this thing. It feels absolutely sturdy and rock solid when you pick it up. And they could eventually, that could be, they're not going to tell that to customers. Like, yeah. they could, I don't know, they could call it like, I don't know what they would even say to a customer to like build quality or whatever, high end build quality or something like that. They could say that. But for the manufacturer, they'd be like, if it's sturdy build. Right. If it, <laughs> if it deflects more than this many degrees, nope. You don't get that. They're not doing that now, obviously. There are some devices on the list that I have complained about deflection with uh, already that are that are going to be part of this launch. And so that's not part of it right now. But, I mean, realistically, they couldn't, like, drop the hammer on all of these things all at once. It's like you have to create, here's your guidelines, and then now we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll continue to, to hone this over the, time, over the course of the years. Because, again, like we said, this isn't something we're going to talk about now and then come back to six months from now. Like, this is the reality now. 
this this will be the reality moving forward. This and, is this is the future of Chromebooks. Yeah, and so that's why we say it's a, it's this monumental thing. It's a it's a big deal. It's a turning and, point. It's yeah, a, it's inflection inflection point. point. I love, I love that. Word. That was nice. not as much as I love rubric. Rubric but, is nice. Inflection love point the word number rubric. two. <laughs> so good. Um, so yeah, that's the overarching idea of, so, of Chrome OS uh, or we, of Chromebook Plus. Yes, Chrome since, OS Plus, Chrome OS Plus, Chromebook you Plus, Chrome first. Unboxed Plus. We're gonna <laughs> Chrome Plus Unboxed. We're gonna Chromebook ha- Plus Unboxed. That's it. That's it, it. It's gonna take Rolls a little. Off the it, it'll ta- it'll take a second. Honestly, more uh, the more and more that we talk about it, it'll it'll feel norm more normal to say Chromebook yeah. Plus. And it's right like, now, it's a little. And it's still, it's still like not weird, but it's just it's a segment. It's not like I'm going to refer to this thing as a Chromebook new. Plus. Have you seen my Chromebook Plus? Like, it's not how it's going to get referred to. It's this is a Chromebook. It's a category. But it's got the Plus and, category. Yeah, right, right, right. And we may or may not have heard whispers of the idea that eventually, I mean, this could theoretically, and it's not necessarily going to become this, but it could. Uh, spur another category of, of down the road above this yeah, yeah. And so the idea would be there's chromebooks and then the 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 i want to say cream of the crop what would be in between that cream rises the at the bulk, top uh, the two percent milk yeah you know comes up to here and then that's chromebook plus and then you got the kind of the cream on top is yeah. whatever they would call that max I, <laughs> Ultra, uh, we make fun of we make Gross. fun of we make fun of Apple, but honestly, Plus Max Ultra think, is pretty. I think plus it's and Pro. I think I think Pro Pro would be I think would make sense here as we start talking about here in a minute some of the stuff that's coming along with Chromebook Plus. If that got further refined and there was there were software pieces that they could work with because Google's been at this for I believe eighteen months or so. Uh, it's it's not been this wasn't something they thought about like a couple months ago. By the time it got found and discovered, it was already a year or so, no more than that. It's only been like three months. So we're talking like 13, 14 months, probably already in the making uh, up to this point. And so they've been talking to OEMs about like, hey, what what do you think about this? Mm-hmm. You know, what what would your response to this be? Yeah. And they got all the major OEMs on board okay. for what's, this. What's That's realistic? Like what's, what's realistic for you all to, to accomplish commit in this, to? Yeah, mm-hmm. for us to have a time to do this and, yeah. and to make this differentiation. So they could already be in those discussions yeah. with OEMs about like, about okay, the next now. Phase. Yeah. now. Uh, because here's here's the thing. Somebody uh, in our Discord, uh, Ian, sent, uh, sent an image from Curry's over in the UK. Mm-hmm. And they had a couple models that, a little different than what we have here, but it was there's a, a 513 with the Snapdragon Gen 2 in it. So we, our 513 from Acer has the uh, MediaTek um, 1380, the Companion 1380. And so he sent a screenshot of it, and it's got a Snapdragon Gen 2 in it. And, and in the description, the first thing said it, it's a plus Chromebook, not Chromebook Plus, but a plus Chromebook. Uh, and then there's one other he sent that it said that in the description. He's like, I've, I've noticed these. You know, Do you think that, like, the UK is a little ahead of the game or something here? And Unfortunately, it's like, eh, no. What that is is probably some leftovers from a previous thing. This is as Google as it gets, uh, where they had the Plus. It was a Premium and Plus? Is that Premium and Plus, things? yeah. They, so at the, if you go to google.com forward slash Chromebook, and kind of where they have this big landing page, there's like a selector. Selector, yeah, basic fantastic. selector. For a little while, they tried to do this idea of like, hey, we're going to segment Chromebooks, Plus but, Chromebooks, and Premium Chromebooks. And then we're going to do it at Best Buy. And some Best Buys we saw it with, but it was this very half-hearted thing, and it never caught on. And there were never any. There was never a rubric. There was no, that would define. It was what totally makes, subjective. Like, really oh, well, we're gonna like, we're gonna throw this one over here in this category. This and one's that, premium. This and you're one like, seems like down here. You know, like that's it's like, a premium. But that combo? one down there, and the plus is better at this, this, and this, and this than the premium one that you put there. Right. So then we're confused by it. I think they're confused by it. It didn't work. It, didn't it was work it was not all. a good system and for so, organizing devices. And now we have. Now we have a bit more of a specific criteria. Well, we have an, we do absolutely. have a, we absolutely have a specific, a specific criteria, criteria has to meet these for for these devices that are going to be Chromebook Plus. Yeah. So and, we, and to be fair to Google, like where I'm like, oh, it needs to be like, how does the whole thing make you feel? Like at some point they have to be like, this have to be objective criteria. Like the the you can't pick a criterion. Another fun word the singular of criteria you can't have a criterion that is subjective like how does it feel 
It, that's it not feels readable. good. Yeah, like, <laughs> I like it. It feels good. We all know that it's real. Right. I can pick this up and go, ooh. ooh oh, oh, man. I love that. The material's nice. There's the, something about that. Rigidity's nice. Like, there's certain, but those are. It's, it's subjective. Are objective, uh, yeah. And so they have to have objective criteria. And yeah. so what we have now have is a set of objective criteria. So there could end up being more of those objective criteria. So yeah. we'll talk about some, some stuff with screen brightness and stuff here in a minute as we go through the criteria, but they could add more objective criteria. Some of those things that I would love to see them be able to add. I don't know that they'll ever be able to do that because you'll get back in the same mess that you were with a plus Chromebook and a premium Chromebook. Yeah. Of like this one's premium. Well, why? I don't know. It just feels like premium. Yeah. <laughs> like that doesn't help anyone yeah. that, that, that hurts the overall thing. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's it. it I don't want to say the nutshell. We talked already a lot, but you know, in a kind broad of. kind of scope, like that's the idea. That's what that's what they're trying, trying to, to get deliver a, here get across, with yeah. Chromebook Plus. So the criteria, uh, you should have those pulled uh, up. Where is it? Oh, so I'm going to go, I'm gonna go back to that other slide real quick. Let me get there properly so that I'm not. There, there it is. Go. There it is. Safe. <laughs> yeah. Because we have some slides we that we're some, not. Peter, sure. shout out to Peter. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Peter listens to our podcast. I think he knows, he knows what we talk it. about. Yeah, generally, some of the people we spoke with at Google, uh, we're going to talk about the event here in a minute. But some of the people we spoke with there, like clearly, do listen to this. Um, Which is, I just don't think the Peter listens to yeah. it. He's PR. He's <laughs> yeah. I think he's like, eh, as long as you're not saying anything, he's not supposed to. I don't yeah. have to worry about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Peter sent over a ton of stuff. Shout out to him. He organized this whole event, and it was fantastic. We're going to talk about it in a second. But here are the guaranteed hardware specs for Chromebook Plus. I love that logo. So and look much. at the logo. Mm. Um, so the guaranteed specs, Intel Core i3 above, uh, which includes this i3, the N305 that's in this device. If you want to hear more about that, go watch our video or read the post about the Slim 3i. I'm obviously going to link that in the show notes. But uh, 8 gigs of memory. And I love that they, they present this. We're going to show the video Um here in just a second, that they we'll show us, that next probably yeah. uh, at the at the event, which I was just like, I love it was. That. I'm a Chromebook and, nerd, and I'm we just, just I'm absolutely a Chromebook nerd. So like, I'm rooting for like this event to go well. And so I watch this video. I'm like, it's a, yeah. it's a it's a it's a teaser. It's, a, it's, it's just a, for us. For, it's a real commercial for us. <laughs> right for Chromebooks, we don't have to talk about Pixels. And no offense to Pixels and good, the Google hardware team. Good right. job. Good, do, you know, do you, you do thing. a great job. Whatever. But this is but, for us. Yeah, this is Chromebook stuff, and it was so exciting. We were get we we were borderline giddy at the event oh, I, I, I was so there happy. were there were times there were t- like i think we started the Woo! clap <laughs> yeah, yeah and we started the clap yeah several times like you it, know something would finish and there's kind of that moment of where everyone's like am i gonna clap do we clap and we're like yeah <laughs> awesome <Let's go!" laughs> love it yeah because i mean it was like it was just cool. To, man, we'll, we're we'll going to get into the actual event. event. All right. <laughs> Back to the it. specs. But they kept talking about 2X, 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 2X. Which was nice. Um, nice graphic. And I was, my nerdy self was sitting when they were talking about the display resolution. I was like, is that 2X? I don't is know that, if that's yeah, 2X. It is 2X, it actually. Is 2X. Because if you think, if you double. So in my mind, I was like, wait, no. 1440 is 2X of a of a standard HD. So 720p. It's well, not. talking Quad HD is 4X. Yeah. So 2X is 1080p. Uh, right. I think 1080p is a little more than 2X if you do the math. But um, so yeah, at least an i3 or above. And so that means devices like this, the i3 that's in this, the N305, small core, yes, but very capable core i3 processor in this device in the Slim 3i in front of me. Um, or the Ryzen 7000 series, which is what's in the CM34 that we just reviewed. And I promise you, I promise you, we didn't do these, well, this one kind of, but the timing just kind of worked out for those last two videos to have come out right before this. It wasn't like we knew exactly what was going on. We really didn't. The, uh, the, the This one here, and, and you said it earlier, but we had very I'm just like, strong I'm, ideas. See the writing that, on the wall. <laughs> like you know? This thing's going to be Chromebook Plus. So yeah. like that's why the, the thumbnail, the title, everything was, was we alluding to that. that. We sure. were playing into it. And but we didn't know for sure. Like they could did not said, know for sure. It's a Slim Three I, X2 whatever or whatever different and it version, been a very different version. And we pick it up and be like, damn, they should have used the like whatever. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't know for sure. Um, and we had a strong feeling that the CM Thirty Four was going to be based on some of those leaks that happened. Kyle had found that one thing that got pulled that had I think eight uh, code names in it. Um, and those things aren't exactly for sure. Like there's a code name for the ASUS, I think that. Um, 
we have that device. I think it's the CX34. It's a similar code name, I think. So it's like it, that doesn't totally give the whole thing away. Uh, but yeah, uh, so 1080p screen um, until Core i3 and above. Uh, and I think they're saying 12th gen and above. So I don't, ooh, I don't know if they have generation on there. So I mean, 11th gen may work too. Um, I'll have to find out about that specifically but i think they're just saying core i3 mm-hmm. and above but that gets dicey because you could have eighth or tenth gen core i3s but i think a tenth gen core i3 would still be fine uh it, we've done some tests like the small core core i3 in this uh sits about right with a tenth gen core i3 core i5 so whatever we'll find yeah. out about that but the idea being intel core chips you're not getting the the super low end stuff um or the amd ryzen anything above that's fine eight gigs of ram so the 2x ram so entry level chromebooks have always had four gigs for a while i don't say always we pissed and moaned about two gig shit like if you can remember four oh. or five years ago there were two gig chromebooks come in <laughs> two if like, you open up if it. you open up five tabs you're done. done. <laughs> You're Toast. done. It's Just like, don't I, uh, even try anymore. It's like the Chromebook ADD version. <laughs> like I can't remember all of that all at the same time. Yeah. You're trying to do four things. I can only remember three things at a time. Yep. Um, so yeah, bump up to four gigs. Bump up to 1080p. So that's that double two x resolution. And they spe- specified IPS. So we're not going to get any Chromebook Pluses that have the crummy TN panels. Does it say IPS fair, down there? I can't yeah. see it. Okay. IPS display webcam with TNR. So, um, temporal noise reduction. We'll talk about that in a second, but so IPS displays, uh, 10 EP plus. So I got to keep track of all these things that you're saying we're going to talk about in a second. I don't, <laughs> yeah, we're going to, we're going to actually <laughs> talk about like some of that stuff. Like as we, as we go down through some of these slides, we'll, we'll get into it. That's why we're using the slides yeah. to help kind of keep guide us. narrowed here. Uh, and then they said 2x storage. So 128 gigs of storage. As you again used to, we had entry level 32 gig 32, Chromebooks. 32, man. Which is just when the OS takes up like eight or nine of that. Like and, then that's you, rough. and then you, I mean, there's going to be stuff that you just download. Yeah. I mean, you know, on, you don't have to have a ton of space. Uh, 64 has always been pushing it, I think. 128 gives you a lot of room. Like it's fine for a Chromebook. It's it's really fine. Yeah. Uh, And some of these models have uh, SD card slots on them. Yeah. This one does not. Uh, There's plenty of USB 3.0 or 3.2. I've got storage. It's it's itty bitty. Like it's it's half a quarter of the size of my thumb. You know, thumbnail, and it fits in there. Like if you really need that external storage, that's that's fast. You can do that anyway. Uh, so yeah, that gives you your double memory. That gives you your double um, uh, storage. It gives you double resolution, and it gives you your like they said. I think they used the verbiage of two x speed. Mm-hmm. That that's just saying you're not going to get the low end processors. The little bitty ARM chips aren't going to work uh, here. Uh, so they need to be proper processors, and that's about it. Like that's roughly. I don't think they. Oh, the webcam has to be... So, yeah, the mm-hmm. temporal noise reduction. So, the webcam needs to be... I think they said 1080p as well on that. I don't know that they specified 1080p. Yeah, because we asked. Did they? We asked. So, uh, we were talking at one booth. Like, you said 1080p on the webcam. Does that mean a seven, like a, a Chromebook that... It was me and Kevin uh, Tofel from about Chromebooks. We were talking to one of the guys uh, at one of the little booths. And, like, so does that mean if this Chromebook meets all the criteria... And doesn't have a 1080p webcam, it won't be Chromebook Plus. And without batting an eye, they're like, "Yep, okay, interesting." Has to, it has to meet the criteria. So you're let's not, you're not casting this anymore. Oh, uh, here, uh, yeah, I'll let's, click let's, back let's over. I'll click, click back, back over. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna see if there's anything down here. About I would love to share the models next, and yep. then we're, I think we almost need to do a whole another episode on just the models and like talking yeah. through hardware. Yeah, there's and, so much. Like, there's, there's a lot we can't even say in this one, right? And yeah, generally, generally. Flow. There's, yeah, generally there's just this overall kind of message of Chromebook Plus that we want to focus on in this episode. Right. But the the hardware stuff, I do want to, you, we'll, we'll talk about the models here in a moment, just so that you at least know which yeah, so models I got, are I got available. Models Boom, there we are. Yeah. Work through so, them for somebody not, uh, real not quick. watching here. Go, if you're not gonna, watching, gonna, you should be over on YouTube. I'm going to zoom out. through these. So Acer has a 515, 514. The 514's a Ryzen device. Uh, the 515 is an Intel Core i3. Uh, forgive me. There's some of these that are the i3 1215U, so the U series, so a little bit more powerful i3s. Some of these are the Core i3 uh, N305, so the N series. So um, for Chromebook users in general, 
I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> like, it, I think the N series are a little more battery efficient. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, I like them. Like, I haven't heard the fans kick on on that I'm, device. I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I said it in that video. The, there are ports. They might just be passively passive radiating cooling, yeah, stuff. Or like, there, there's no I fan in there. I know that there's fans. This mm-hmm. is a small core device. Anyway, mm-hmm. whatever. That's a worry for later. Uh, so, two new devices from Acer. Uh, Asus uh, is one new, one old. So you got one new, the CX34. It's the CX3402. A one is the uh, Vibe Chromebook. Uh, this is a completely different device. So this is not um, some new take on um, the uh, Vibe. I know we got <laughs> Robbie and I are both getting phone calls. Like, what up. is happening? As long as my wife's right. not calling you, I'm no, okay. No, 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 no. This is that, that would be dad. an emergency. Uh, so yeah, the CX3402 is a clamshell all white. It's the prettiest of all the new devices for sure. Uh, really interesting Lot. new device, uh, from Asus and it's lots it of feels B-roll like, from that one. Yeah. It feels like a completely different device. Like it doesn't where the CM34, which is the next one, the CM34 felt like the CX, the vibe, the gaming Chromebook just kind of rehashed. This thing is its own thing. Um, so you got those two from Asus. And then HP has the 15.6 inch Chromebook we pointed out before. Yavix, I think, was the code name on it. Uh, there's the cheapy one that's at Best Buy, and it's like there's no way it's Chromebook Plus. This is the Core i3 model. Um, and then you've got the X360 14C, which we have talked about before. Great in a ton of ways. Uh, a little bit too much deflection on the bottom there. Uh, it, and then does it have fingerprint scanner? Yeah. Yeah. It's a very nice. It's got a, got a lot of goodies. It, it's got a lot of great stuff to it. As long as you just don't grab your device from the corner a lot. Yeah. Then it might be a good. And it's one not for like you. It's falling apart. But <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just it's still, it clicks the, it clicks the trackpad. Yeah. yeah. I don't okay. Love that. Uh, <laughs> Flex Five I. So the it's pretty much the same as the one that's out. So the Flex Five I that's out currently with the twelfth gen internals. It's that one, fourteen inch convertible, and then Slim Three I, which is this guy. Um, uh, with the Core i3 inside. So those are those are your starting Chromebook Plus models. Obviously, a lot more will be incorporated, I think, in the coming couple weeks after launch. Because there's going to be, and there's going to be ones that are going to get retrofitted. Like, yeah. so I don't know how they're going to handle them. that. I don't know that any but, new models getting produced will get the new branding. I'm sure they will. They probably. Might, might down the road, but I think it's less about that and, and more about like marketing them as part of the Chromebook Plus family. What? what and, and like get Best the Buy, will they will the Best Buy name change? Maybe I think I so. Think, right, yeah. anything so that Buy's, meets the category yeah. should. So Best Buy is going to have some setup apparently that that showcases Chromebook Plus in any device they have that meets that criteria, even if it doesn't have the label up top, can be marketed as Chromebook Plus. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think um, I think we can probably head into the software stuff uh, maybe after a break or something. Yeah. Um, and and we can kind of talk about some of the stuff that. Is, is available for this and you'll you'll see quickly once you i almost once you see we, the benefit of the 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 chromebook plus software yeah i think you'll what, get like whether or not it has this thing up here up top what if what if we did this what if we did this because i think there's a lot of software to talk about a lot there is we are on a time crunch because joe's got things to do <laughs> sorry oh, folks geez, it's already th- okay time flies when you're having fun i know so i think what about. we should do is wrap up this episode with event and like the vibe of the event. I feel that. I feel okay. That. Let's do that. I think we should do a separate whole episode on the hardware uh, specifics, kind of like when yeah, we can maybe talk through more specific yeah, hardware. Yeah, I was going to say. And so, yeah, just so as you're listening to this, like there are embargoes that we agree to. And yeah. What we can talk about. Like right now, we can't talk about that and we wouldn't be able to release that till a date. We can say future. this is the hardware. Here it is. Here's kind of our impression of it. Coming but soon, probably. Coming soon. I promise. Very, yes. very, very soon. And then, but. and then number two, something that we could do sooner than that, maybe as a special episode next week, is software. All the new software oh, stuff so coming. Because I think we could do a whole oh, episode on just that. Hour. So uh, we'll we'll do that. A lot. Yeah, that, event, that's probably smarter. Event vibe was phenomenal we have it really was we have and and we kind of clarified this with with everyone there we have not been to an event that was all about chromebook chrome os from google right and we've been, or online or anything as far as like this event, sort of keynote the presentation Samsung event that we went to for the chromebook plus and the chromebook funny Chromebook Plus. Yeah. Uh, for the yeah. Samsung Chromebook Plus and Chromebook Pro back in 2017. Um, 
those devices got launched at CES. That was a big deal. And think, then we got invited to New York. I think Google had a pretty strong hand in some of that device. Yeah, I think they were heavily involved those in, that, devices? In, in those devices. And, you know, we went up to Samsung's place, which ironically is right there next to Google's place down in the kind of Chelsea <laughs> Across area. Across the street, basically. Um, we, yeah, we stayed in a hotel that looked... You looked out the window and you saw Samsung's yeah. building there, and it's like, yeah, that was a fun event. That was, that was a cool. that was a uh, balcony that we filmed on. If you yeah. go back and watch that, yeah, that's, let's link that. I'm we have link some that. we have some fantastic B roll for that. Uh, my lips will probably be pink in those videos, but that's because <laughs> lighting was weird uh, back then, <laughs> and we didn't know. I didn't, didn't know how, know to, how film to do it. Stuff okay, um, deal with it. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, the uh, that those devices were the only like this and this what's funny is that was when we first started doing this and so it's like this is how it's going to be you know for bigger devices and then it never happened again ever until until no until dragonfly now. dragonfly oh the but this, yeah the dragonfly was kind of on there with the way samsung was so it was it's like a small room we're sitting at tables yeah. and they're just going to tell you about it it's real just kind of like a like round a, table type vibe yeah a small press event like a here's a projector and you know it's not a keynote no they're, they're keynotes, not, like when you think about keynote, think about Apple presentations. Think, think about, about think about, think what's about coming hardware. Up with this ten four event, like uh, that, that kind. Of, and it wasn't keynote. it wasn't that polished, but it was it was close, much closer. Um, and it was it was cool. It was in Google's building. Uh, we ex- again, we expected to go in and kind of be in one of the meeting rooms. To be fair, uh, and, and get some some stuff, and then walk out, and there'd be a couple rooms where there's hardware to mess with for a second uh and that was not it like we got there and you know they had the the snacks and the food that everybody always does and and then they were like oh we'll usher you over here and i'm like is this really usher that us formal? over where <laughs> like, this is that formal and we walk into this room that's i mean it's built into it's a theater Google's, room yeah it's a yeah. theater room for this kind of presentation huge big huge wide screen up front all the lighting you need to do this kind of stuff, big All the sound media, booth. the media guys yeah. up, you yeah. know, and it was tiered a couple tiers up so you could sit and see and, um, and the place filled up, you know, and, uh, there were people. And shout from, out again. I'm, I, you know, Peter, we've talked about it already, man. but Peter, killed Peter, it. Peter had folks there that we wouldn't have expected, which is no awesome, one would which expect. is what we want. I, right. we, we shouldn't say them, but like, there were people there that I would have never expected to attend this event. Sure, but Peter they, saw they the bigger like, vision. Like plugged into Chrome OS, and they're yeah. not in the weeds. Like we are in the weeds of Chrome OS, obviously. Uh, and I'm not just saying like, oh, well, The Verge or Engadget or you know, big tech publications that cover all tech. Um, no. some of them were there too. Yeah, um, but there were people that don't really cover that much tech at all uh, there or people that never cover Chromebooks like people that we know that you know and so there's just this nice array of people uh, media outlets and stuff like that there and so it was it was really cool to see the Chrome OS team get to kind of stand up and do their thing and find their footing a little bit yeah. with this whole thing. Something new to them. You yeah, know, for, I assume, for Chromebooks. Yeah. Like you assume like, oh, this is Google. So, you know, they Everybody's can just go trained. do a keynote. Like, <laughs> no, these guys are, are working on Chromebooks and Chrome OS software and, and hardware. And, yeah, and I, <laughs> that's the guys are folks. I, like folks. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Stella did awesome. So I want to give her a shout out for sure. No, no knock to any of the guys that were up there. But that's man, right. Stella, Stella nailed it. it. Stella she nailed, nailed it. it. And again, we told like, her, we're sitting we told in, her that we're sitting in the state or we're sitting in the audience. On, we're sitting in the stage. Is what I just said. <laughs> no, we're not, we, we were not on stage. stage. <laughs> we were sitting in the audience just rooting for this presentation. It was so fun. And everyone did a great job, but, they but did. Stella they really, did. really knocked it out of the park. She had great charisma on stage. Mm-hmm. She, she had great emphasis. Yeah. Uh, and I think sometimes so much of getting on stage is just emphasis well, like for this kind of thing right for a keynote kind of thing like it's different it's not this isn't round table this isn't a small meeting right hey like, here's the specs or the nerdy stuff it's you're communicating a, a, a message like a right. big and so this device has da 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 like certain little emphasis that yeah. you can do that really kind of uh, adds to the presentation. She she nailed it. And it's Everyone funny, did a great job, but she funny, she like, really did nail it. In this this event, like the the space in it, it's hard to describe. But if there is meeting room, projector, everybody around a table in your brain, think about that. And then there's Apple or Google Keynote, or Samsung Keynote. This is probably in the middle of the two, mm-hmm. but enough on the side of the line towards the keynote thing that as soon as we sat down and they started the thing, I'm like, they have to deliver that way. Like 
you can't just come out and deliver a meeting like this can't be meeting notes this isn't that you step you went over the line to that side there was you know. the the, the presentation there was there job. were video integrations there were um i mean there was like music playing when we first walked in the yep. music faded down low as peter walked up and and welcomed everyone like yep. It, it was a whole the it, whole I'm getting, I literally just I have goosebumps right now. I literally yeah. have goosebumps right now. Yeah, it was thinking so well about done. It. it was so well done and it was and it was for Chrome OS and for Chromebook for Chromebook, Plus. Period. There wasn't like, well, now we'll get to the Android portion. Yeah, but now we're talking now about we'll this talk other about thing. <laughs> search or let's talk about AI. Like, well, they just talk about AI, but um, integrated to right in 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 Chromebooks. And so yeah. it was a whole event and it's like, you know, we we've been doing this for you know, the better part of 8 years and and it's like, wow, for the first time, it's like we got to come to an event. And, and it's no knock to any of the other stuff that Google does Absolutely or that not. anybody no, no, in the no. Android market does. It's not a knock to any of those things. It's just this just felt special. Yeah, we get we live in a situation where we're kind of fighting a little bit. I, I, it's not even a chip on the shoulder thing. It really isn't that. It's just like it's, you know, people. It's a don't, bit of the. They just don't want to take it seriously. Yeah, a lot of times. it's, it's a like. Bit. It's a toss away thing, and it's a bit of the whole pirate ship, you know, mentality. Yeah, we're just here, just like we're fighting for our territory, right. and like whatever, like whatever comes, and you know, we go to Acer events, and our Acer rep Kelly is awesome, and they do such a great. What back when they did events, you know, yeah. we enjoyed going to their events. And, and Chromebooks were featured, and but like, they'd be like five minutes on stage, and, and then, then there's he, all this other stuff. Yeah, forty minute keynote, and here's and this concept thing. Maybe three <laughs> notes, three minutes for a Chromebook, and then they move on, yeah. and that's it. And it's like we understood that that's just kind of our lot in life. We go to the sandbox area, and there's of the area that's there. 10% of it's where we're going to spend our time. Like we get it. Like we understand that. So it's very different to go to a, an event of this level, like that has all the touches of a regular event. And it's like the whole, we, the whole thing, we get to talk about the whole thing, like all of it, the whole event, the whole sandbox area, everything like we, all of it matters for our audience. Like it was so cool. I can't wait to talk through some of the software stuff. Like I want to do it right now, but we'll, We'll yeah. come back to it. I think it's a this whole episode, a, man. I really do. Podcast if we I really do because the software stuff and the demo area was so cool. They had they had product experts yeah. at at all of the stations. And they had all the new Chromebook Plus announced. They were all there. All you could, there. You could mess with all of them. And uh, everyone just gave gave great dem, dem grave, great demo and gave great and gave great everyone gave. <laughs> gave great demos and there was one that that really really stood out to me the uh the photoshop on the web We're, we'll do a whole we'll do a whole another episode about it i promise but it was so cool i just saw you got in the blog post by, by, by the way it's full hd it is full hd is camera. it okay yeah, it's in there all right uh, nice. i'm trying to find if it's in here and i'm almost positive it is. oh there's the cat one that yeah, was great so, that, <sighs> so much there's here, so much yeah there's a bunch of software stuff that we want to talk through and again it's that's a whole other podcast really i swear it is um but as this is as you're hearing this you can buy them right now so um, major retailers, Best Buy, Amazon, Walmart, and Target, October 8th. And so part of the embargo lifting, um, let's see, Canada, yeah, so Canada and Europe, uh, October 9th, oh, and then they're, yeah. they're moving to other markets yes. uh, in like a week this. after that. I forgot about this. There's just there's so, so, there's much. so much to oh talk my gosh. about. But I just wanted to point out, like, all of this is lining up. New in Zealand, order to, Australia, Japan. Yeah. Well, I think we're two weeks after or something like or that. Or like a few weeks after, but but all uh, 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 several European markets. Um, so much. There's just so much. Yeah. And it's cool that they're they're pushing this uh, into new markets. You know, I don't yeah, I don't know. Sure. I, I honestly don't know exactly what the Chromebook market is like in New Zealand. Uh, I've, we've heard rumblings of like anywhere in Europe uh, uh, is one thing, and then it gets a little weirder in Australia, New Zealand. Um, it, India there, seems a, to have. It's some, like there are some; they just aren't all. Um, so to see Chromebook Plus models being these pushed are, into other markets is is and, very and that's okay. So that's one thing also that maybe we'll need to get clarification on. Like those markets are are they pushing these specific? Devices eight or how many? No, that's, how many devices? I mean, it says you can order new Chromebook lap Chromebook Plus laptops from major retailers. Blah blah blah. Canada, Europe. 
I just imagine they're going to push night. these ones that were a, yeah, a part of the announcement. For sure. And then like all these all these ones are going to get uh, retrofitted or whatever. They'll maybe come later or whatever. Yeah. Um, Still a lot to talk about. So much. I want to just keep going. But and we'll, the truth is, like, there's going to be a lot to talk about for months. I mean, it's just mm-hmm. th- this is going to be a, a. It'll be nice to do hardware and software specific episodes because yeah, sure. we have so much to talk about. But for yeah, sure. it's going to be it's going to be ongoing. This is uh, this is the. Uh, this is the new normal. This yep. is the new thing. Yep. This is the thing we're going to talk about a lot. We're going to talk about it. Um, uh, I, I mean, I, I, I can't even, I can't even imagine a scenario where the podcast doesn't include something about Chromebook plus every week, probably for the foreseeable future. So it's so exciting. We are just thrilled that we got invited and that we were able to yeah, attend. It was awesome. And, and, and get to, spend time with so many like decision makers and 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 just awesome team members on the Chrome West team like people yeah. that are just doing awesome stuff yep. that we look up to like yeah, that we, we, really we that were, we're so like, excited to get to talk with we're them. nerding out like oh my gosh like here's here's so and so and I mean right. like, getting to spend some time with Alexander Kusher like and getting like we've we've talked so with Stella awesome. who we mentioned already like we, Chris Daniels you know, yeah we, we haven't gotten to meet these people face to face and so being able to sit down with them was it was awesome uh, yeah it was it was great. we loved it we were thrilled to be there it was a it was a, a quick little trip to new york uh and back and we just we yeah couldn't couldn't be more thankful that we got to be there and in this journey that's brought us to this point you know right, and, right. and to be in that room and to, to feel like a part of this whole sure. thing you know like sure. that's the other weird thing about all yeah. of this like we've been We've been nerding out about this stuff for a while. Yeah. And we're going to keep doing it. Yep. So, you know, Chromebook Plus is the next phase of this. It's the inflection point. Yeah. And uh, we love it. So stay tuned. More yeah. Chromebook Plus, more software specifics, more hardware specifics yep. coming soon. So that's it for this one. If you like this, uh, if you're watching over on, on YouTube, YouTube, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you loved it, give us a subscribe. Yeah. And if you want to get notified when we put out new episodes, like these two new ones that we're talking about, yeah. hit the notification bell. Everyone listening on uh, just audio, thanks too. Appreciate yeah. it. Love you guys. Follow. Follow us on Spotify. Yeah, definitely follow. follow us on all the other stuff. Was Is it... Uh, is it Pod, uh, well, YouTube Music is just... or uh, No, which... Yeah, YouTube Music now. Google Podcasts is going to YouTube Music. Yeah. follow wild, subscribe wild, wild whatever West, wherever you are in the ecosystem listening just follow along all right we appreciate it we'll catch you all in the next one see ya